I like the word or the term changing dynamics. And uh, since uh, Rich was gracious enough to let me put him on the spot, I wonder if uh, also Mohammed Hanif Atma, the Foreign Minister of Afghanistan, won't mind me doing the same a little bit. Talking about changing dynamics and reaching understandings and consensuses which may change, I'm wondering how does the Afghan government view the Taliban now, now that there's, you know, there is an agreement between the US and the Taliban, there's peace talks between Taliban and Afghan officials. They st are they still considered? Do you still consider them to be a terrorist group? Does the need to deal with them change, or the definition of them change as your need to deal with them changes, for example? Hello? Does it uh, work? Hopefully, yes. I yes. Think we're good. Now. Good. good. Uh, thank you, Zaydan. And uh, I'm so honored to, to join uh, the distinguished panelists and also our distinguished participants. Thank you, the government and people of Turkey, and especially the hospitable people of Antalya, for this wonderful uh, forum. Um, sir, uh, we draw a line uh, between um, 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 Taliban and the regional and global terrorists. We do not draw a line. On what basis, Minister? Uh, the, uh, uh, in terms of their nationality not in terms of their approaches. Uh, first of all, we do not lack definition. An important document in this respect, which has been produced as a result of consensus of the United Nations, uh, is the UN counterterrorism strategy, where there is absolutely clearly uh, given a definition, and then the state's responsibilities are defined, and also the key pillars for, for the counterterrorism are also spelt out. The issue now is for us uh, that we are dealing with three types of uh, terrorists. The ones that come from Afghanistan, the ones that have been fighting over Afghanistan and coming from the region such as LAT, ATIM, IMU, all of them designated as terrorist organizations by the United Nations. And the third category is related to global terrorists, such as Al-Qaeda and Daesh. Something that we miss here is the symbiotic relationship among these groups. They need each other. While they may be pursuing different goals, political goals, when it comes to their countries of origin, but they are certainly having this symbiotic relationship. A second symbiotic relationship that we often miss is that these terrorist organizations have close relations with transnational organized criminal networks, including drugs, weapons, human trafficking, and, and the war, uh, economy. So in this respect, it, it, it's becoming so difficult, notoriously difficult to draw a line. But what is important is that the states must recognize one fact, that selectivity in fighting terrorism is the key reason for our failure. Selectivity in terms of states reducing the problem around the specific element that threatens them. But they don't see the bigger picture that that element is part of a terrorist ecosystem. So the states must honor their obligations. So there must what be a more holistic approach Absolutely. towards tackling, okay. Absolutely. But, but you already said you've had to make a differentiation based on nationality already when you're dealing with different groups, right? I assume that's for politically expedient reasons because some groups you probably think, I can win them over, they can be integrated into the system and some I can't, right? The, the, issue, the issue is about um, how do you make peace with the ones who are committed right. to peace and the ones who do, are not committed and you have no legal grounds to make peace with them. Like for instance, in Afghanistan, the reason we draw that line, we can make peace with the Taliban because they are Afghans, but they have to stop terrorism, mm -hmm. they have to stop killing people, and they have to stop cooperating with international terrorists. 
But we cannot make peace with Al-Qaeda, Daesh, and other terrorist groups who are not Afghans. We have no political reason to, to work with them. Our only goal is for, for them to leave our country and, and uh, uh, to not be fighting over our country in pursuit of their political goals, which may relate to, to their uh, other objectives. All so, right. to, to sum it up, I don't think we have a problem of definition. What we have as a problem is selectivity, state selectivity in fighting terrorism. All right, talking about state selectivity, I think the, the call and the message is for a more holistic approach to this problem. Let me pose that.